Game four, Memorial Day at the Garden has brought the celebrities out to witness the Knicks and the Pacers. Chris Rock, Kevin Bacon sitting uh, about five feet away from us. Billy Baldwin and of course, it's always celebrity time when the Knicks play, especially when they meet their arch rivals, the Indiana Pacers. In fact, uh, we've seen Jalen Rose get into it with some of the courtside fans here the last few possessions, blowing a kiss after making a tough shot. And David Stern, the NBA commissioner, also on hand to see game four. And Jeff Van Gundy's dad, Bill, continues to ask for divine intervention. <laughs> to have the Knicks hold off the surging Pacers. And that was Jeff's wife on the left side of the screen with the kids. But what the Knicks need now is some enthusiasm, a new approach, a fresh game here. They're coming out just hanging on. Well, they can't play tight. They can't play tentative. They've got to continue to be aggressive. And uh, they got to remember also that when they surge to within Two in Indiana. Indiana came back and put him away convincingly. Miss Allen Houston. Nobody's even close right now as the pace or defense has really tightened up. And Camby wipes out Austin Crozier committing a loose ball foul. The difference in the shots, layups in the first half, 68%. And as the percentages come down, more jump shots for the New York Knicks in the second half. Jump shots, I don't buy that at all. It, it's off the dribble right now. Everybody's dribbling for their own shot as opposed to trying to set somebody else up with the dribble. And the Indiana Pacers, to their credit, never panicked. They got that fire lit under them by Larry Bird at halftime, and they've come alive. Block of Jalen Rose shot by Candy, who parks it down. But what a move by Jalen Rose, who's showing us new things virtually possession by possession. And a steal there, the quick hands of Rose. Three on two breaks for the Pacers. Miller spotted for three. It's good. It's hard to believe that's not a foul right there. As Reggie Miller jumps up to the Spike Lee's face. Well, it's uh, the big two right now that are putting a hurt on the New York Knicks, and it's a one-point ball game. So it's Allen Houston and Sprewell that are going to have to step up in the closing six minutes of play. Bert Thomas blocked by Crozier, saved by Camby. Johnson for three. He saves them time and time again, Larry Johnson. 22 points on 8 of 14 shooting. Here's a block by Houston, but Best gets it back. Houston blocked Miller's shot. Best is all alone. And on the clock. Miller over Houston for three. Short to Larry Johnson. Eight rebounds for LJ. All season long, we've talked about it being Houston and Sprewell. Right now, we're seeing Miller and Rose taking it, taking it away from him. Can be. Rebounded by Perkins. Well, it's just about time for Van Gundy to put Charlie Ward back in the game. He's a guy uh, that's been able to keep him energized, and he's on the bench. He's, he's sitting on the, at the scorer's table yeah, trying to get in. He's been waiting at the scorer's <laughs> table for quite a while, along with uh, Latrell Sprewell. Great defense, Allen Houston. Successive plays for the Knicks. Now they want Larry Johnson on the other side of the floor. They want the ball in his hands, and they go to Kurt Thomas. And he delivers. Kurt Thomas, 16 points off the New York bench, and Indiana calls a timeout. <laughs> Look at Kurt Thomas celebrate. He's having the time of his life. Give me some minutes. It's a long way from celebration, though. <laughs> The jab step forcing Sam Perkins back has to honor that threat of a drive and Patrick Ewing supporting from the bench. The Van Gundy family too celebrates New York five straight points since Miller cut it to one. 